the Otisaga Resort Hotel featuring their famous Sunday brunch presents Leatherstocking Tales. Summertime in Cooperstown means that the village is teeming with baseball fans. If you need to unwind before or after a busy day in town, spend a few relaxing moments in the idyllic Brookwood Gardens. Well, Brookwood was one of the oldest lake estates. We have its history going back to the King George patent, um, and it has had a long life of being a great private estate, and during that time, that's when the garden was created. Um, Frederick de Peyster Townsend in the 20s made this magnificent garden. He was a landscape architect. Uh, and then it went from the Townsends to another family, the Cooks, and Bob Cook, who was the last private owner, set up the foundation. It was open to the public in 1985, and even though people were invited, there were articles about events here, nobody really seemed to come until fairly recently we really began focusing on the garden and inviting people to garden events and we would have plant sales and auctions and the press responded generously and people got to know that the garden was here. And we do have some unusual plants that uh, have been in the garden for a long time. But our, our chief focus is in the sense of history of the property. Many of the plants we have were common garden plants in the 20s and 30s, and now nobody grows them. So people see these plants that they think are brand new, and in fact, they've been around forever. Uh, but I think it's the combination of the sense of history, the beautiful landscape, the relationship to the lake that invites people in. I mean, people can just stroll here at any time and hear the fountains and look at the sailboats and just feel what a great lake estate was like back 100 years ago. I think it gives them a completely different view of Cooperstown. I think people come here for the baseball, but then they, they discover the incredible music events that we have here, and they discover the, the history and the beautiful buildings that were built in centuries past. And I think that that gives them a very different idea of what this little village is about. Brookwood Garden is located one mile north of the Fenimore Art Museum and is open daily from dawn to dusk. 